They gon' think I'm one of Grammy. Grammy. Do this shit for my mammy. Uh, do this shit for my uh, fake niggas, I can stand them. Hey, shake it like a private dancer. Hey, China bought us like cancer. Hey, AI, I'm the answer. Hey, so, hey, I don't really trust a pastor. Nah, bitch, I'm proud to be a bastard. And if you guys want to see how I was able to achieve this look, then please keep watching. Alright, so I'm just starting off by priming my face with the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. And this is oil free, so it is one of my favorites. And for my brows, I'm just using the LA Girl Brow Pencil in the shade uh, Dark Brown. I'm sorry, Medium Brown. And I'm just really getting my brows on as a base. And then once I get my face on, I always like to... Uh, you know, touch up my brows if I need to. And I'm going in with Max Paint Pot um, in the shade Soft Ochre. And I'm just using a Real Techniques brush to blend that out. And mine's super dry, so it took me a second to like actually really get it blended out. And I'm going to be using a translucent powder just to set my eyelids. Alright, next I'm going in with the color Savage from Urban Decay's Electric Palette. I'm using a Sigma E40 brush. Uh, it's a tapered blending brush, so I'm just very lightly dusting that pink shade all over the lid as the transition shade. And I'm going to keep on intensifying the pink until I feel like it's dark enough in that crease area um, to really um, give it more dimension for when I add the rest of the colors. And then next I'm going in with the color Savage. And I'm just blending this in the outer corner and I'm using a Coastal Scents blending brush. This is in their travel kits again. It's one of my favorite brushes and just blend that inwards. And then I'm using NYX Eye Pencil in the shade Milk and it's super creamy so I'm not going to add a whole lot. I'm just using it as a white base for when I add the um, other colors to my eyelid it makes them pop more. And I'm going in with the shade Gonzo instead like turquoise color in the electric palette. And I'm just putting that towards the outer corner of my eyelids and then I'm blending that with um, a brush that was like from eBay. Again, one of the like little kits that it comes in. So I'm just going to keep packing it and then blending it. I'm taking this black shade. Uh, this is from MAC. This is Carbon. And I'm using a little small brush. Uh, I can't even think of what it's called. But I'm just using a little brush to go in to the crease area. Um, and then I'm going to blend it out using that Coastal Scents blending brush. Now I'm going in with chaos and I'm just packing that towards the outer corners and blending inwards. And I'm adding some glitter to the inner corners. So I'm using the Too Faced glitter glue, of course, and then I'm using a white glitter from Sally's. And then I will pack some more blue and then just blend that into the glitter. So 
So I've already popped my lashes on. I'm just lining my waterline with Wet n Wild's Black Eye Coal, of course. And I'm going in with L'Oreal Telescopic for the mascara. For my foundation, I'm using Max Pro Longwear NC30, and I'm using Max uh, 130 brush to apply it. So I'm gonna use this to apply the foundation all over, and then of course I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender to blend it out. And I'm so sad that my damn camera is not in focus, but for the concealer, I'm going to be using Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium Honey. I'm using my damn beauty blender, but since it, it is kind of thick, I'm going to be going in with the Morphe G2 brush to blend the rest of it out. And then I'm going to set it with Revlon's Photo Ready Finishing Powder. And I'm using Maybelline's foundation stick. This is in the shade Cappuccino. So I'm just using that to contour. And I'm using an e.l.f. contour brush just to blend out my nose. And then I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender to blend out the rest of the areas. So I'm just setting my face with Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm using this brush from Real Techniques. It's a powder brush. I'm dusting off the excess under the eye. And I'm just smoking out the waterline with Urban from that same palette. And for contour powder, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going in with the medium brown shade. So I'm just contouring and setting those areas that I use with the foundation stick. For my blush, I'm using Max Flower Power, and I'm using this brush from e.l.f. It's either a blush brush or a tapered brush. And then I'm going in with this powder brush from e.l.f. just to kind of blend everything together. I'm using that same powder brush just to clean up with a little bit of translucent powder, just cleaning up underneath the contour. I'm going to be setting my face with Makeup Forever Setting Spray. And I'm just going to be going over my lashes with a little bit of black eyeshadow just to hide where that lash strip is. And for my highlight, this is one of my favorites. It's from MAC and this is in the shade Show Gold. And it's so pretty because it has like a pink, purple, gold highlight to it. It's so pretty. So I'm just going to be using that on my cheeks. I'm going to use it a little bit above my eyebrow and then I'm going to hit my nose and my cupid bow as well. For my lip liner, I'm using Max Current. Um, I felt like it needed to be darker, so I went in with a black eyeliner. And then I'm using Max Heroin for my lipstick. Um, I felt like it needed to have a little bit more color, so I ended up going over it with uh, Lime Crimes Chinchilla. And that wasn't enough, so I ended up hitting it with NYX Baby Pink Lipstick. So this is the final look. As always, thank you guys for watching. And um, please make sure that you like and subscribe. Until next time.